Man, this ball hooks a lot. Zed, you and me. Woo! Hey everyone, welcome back to JR Pro Shot Vids. Today we're gonna look at the brand new Zen U from 900 Global. For the review today, we got Jimu back on the lanes, our urethane specialist. We got a few different urethane options today, so let's go over each one individually. So to my right, he's got his trusty old pitch black, and to my left, the purple hammer, the goat. And right here in the middle, we got the brand new Zen U, something a little different. So the pitch black here has been a real staple urethane ball in the storm line for a really long time. Probably the smoothest and most predictable and hooks the least of the three in front of me here. All right, to my left here, we have the purple urethane from Hammer. Now, in my opinion, this ball really revolutionized how we bowl. Typically, urethane was only good on shorter patterns in the past. With this ball coming into play, it's seen a lot of use on many different patterns. You see a lot on the Pro Tour as well. So in front of me, we have the new Zen U from 900 Global. So this has a brand new S35 plus urethane cover stock. It also features the original Meditate core shape, but this time in a low density version. So you're gonna see some different core dynamics versus the Zen, Zen Master, Zen Soul, but it retains that original shape. Now for this reason, that core being so massive, I think this one's gonna hook the most, way more than a purple hammer. And with Jimu's Reverie, that's really gonna be amplified. Now today he's gonna to bowl on 36 foot Pegasus, which is a really short pattern, one we use here in league sometimes. Urethane always comes into play, it seems, on that pattern. Now typically on a pattern like this, Jimu will throw either his pitch black or his purple hammer. Will this be too much hook for urethane? Find out later. A special thanks to the members who have joined so far. If you wanna become a part of our community, get early access to videos, coaching, merch, and so much more, hit that join button below. That's enough in here, let's send it out to Jimu on the lanes. Welcome back, Jimu's here with the new Zen U from 900 Global. Super excited, another urethane review with Jimu. So if you haven't checked out any of the other ones, link over here. We're comparing this to my favorite, the Purple Hammer and the Pitch Black. My OG, we'll start off with this one. So we are bowling on 36 foot Pegasus, short, not my favorite, to be honest, but that's why we throw urethane bowling balls. Good shot there. Leaked it out pretty far outside, actually. Got kind of close to the gutter, but that's what we want on short patterns, right? We're trying to get the ball out, keep our lines fairly straight, so we minimize the casualties down there. One more from that same line. Yeah, Pitch Black is hooking quite a bit on this short pattern, but that's okay. Let's move on from it. Let's go to the Purple Hammer. Don't already know, my absolute favorite ball for short, sometimes medium. I take it for every single tournament, and here is why. Same line. That is exactly why, because it strikes every time, no matter what the hit. Purple Hammer usually hooks two boards more than the pitch black for me, so we're gonna make a small adjustment and strike it up. Woo! Nice and close to the gutter. I think today, the way the lane's playing in this condition in the house, it really wants me to get it far outside. So, might throw a couple gutter balls in here, We'll throw one more with the purple hammer and try strike. Yeah, let's do it again. Good shot. Still nine emoji. Purple hammer, as you can see, it's pretty clean through the front. Doesn't pick up as early as pitch black, but definitely has more down lane. It's a pearl, right? As opposed to the solid. Now let's try the new ball, Zen Yu. Zen 
than you and me. So I already had a couple practice shots with this, so I know what's about to happen, but I'll just let you see it yourself down lane. Good shot, and yeah. So as you can see, this ball is strong. Now it's not the exact same Zen core that's in the normal Zen bowling balls. They did modify it a little bit. However, because of this strong engine, the ball is gonna wanna hook a lot. So typically with the other thing, you wanna keep the angle straight. But with this ball, I think it might be really good to move in a little bit. So we are gonna move three boards left and see how it looks from here. This ball hooks a lot. Good shot. It's still hooking. So that was three left of the purple hammer, which was another two left of the pitch black. So I'm five boards on the pitch black. I'm gonna move even more. Let's go another two. Oh. Good shot there, got it really close to the gutter, which I knew it would peel back, which it did. However, not hitting just right. So we'll make a small adjustment, try to get a strike. Oh, really good shots here. As you can see, we're covering a lot of boards. Kind of like the purple hammer for me, at least with the high rev rate. I could use this ball on medium patterns as well as short. Contrary to what we know about urethane on house shots, I think this one could work pretty well on a house shot. I'm gonna do the same line, throw it a little bit faster with a bit more behind the back. Get a roll a bit earlier and get to the pocket. Oh, all right. That one felt really good off my hand. It was more end over end which resulted in less back in motion. And with the increased speed, now we're going in light. So we'll throw that same line, normal speed, end over end roll. We should get a strike here. There we go. That's nice. The end over end roll, it's driving through the pins as opposed to coming in a bit behind, which left the 10 pins. We're gonna try the purple hammer on the same line that we just threw, just to show how different it is. Despite the weird looking rack we have here, we are gonna throw the same line with the purple hammer, and you're gonna see, I expect it to be light, maybe just hit the head pin, but we'll see. Woo, not pretty. See, purple hammer is definitely weaker in terms of boards covered definitely asking for us to move right off of that shot. It shows that these balls are different enough where you could have both of them in your bag though. Okay, question time with Jimu with the Zen Yu. So as you're throwing a shot, what is your thought process before actually delivering the ball? I know for a lot of people, it's stay slow. Some people is follow through, stay balanced. And some people don't think of anything, but you let me know down in the comments below. Sometimes I think the pitch black and the purple hammer are a bit too close, but Zen Yu from this far inside doesn't look too bad. Let's do another. Whew. Hit up on that one a little bit, causing it to overreact. But it's all good. It's good to know that this is a strong ball. Maybe not the best for the shortest of patterns, but definitely good to smooth out the reaction and it's controllable. Yep, yeah. looking good, looking good. We're gonna jump right, because I want to get this ball and serve it some justice. Piping it very far up the back. I don't know how it's gonna stay online, but we'll see. That didn't look too bad. Been working really hard on trying to throw the ball more end over end, more outside. Personally, I love throwing the phase two, all the reactive balls deep inside, but mastering the versatility of playing outside makes a good bowler. So that's what I'll continue to work on. Let's throw one more over here, same thing. Oh, 
All right, maybe the line was here the entire time. Very end over end on this short pattern. I don't mind that. Simu makes a really good point here. It's very smooth off the back end. And I agree. So we're gonna move another two. See if that smooth motion continues. Ooh, messenger five pin. Not my ideal messenger. Very end over end as you can see. But it seems to not be jumping when I throw it like that, right? Throwing it up the back with the urethane looks really good. So if you're a type of bowler that has low tilt, maybe low side rotation, like more up the back, might try it out as well, but so far very good. Purple, same line. Yeah, playing that same line, purple has that more back end motion. So it's not as smooth. So if you're trying to play very up the back, Zenyu looking a lot better from here. So one more good one, normal rotation, get a strike and we'll send it back to the shop. There we go, let's send it back to the shop. Jimu is back from the lanes. First off, super impressed with this new Zen U, this urethane. I've never actually thrown one of the Zen bowling balls, the Zen Soul, the Zen, and of course the Zen Master, but super excited to throw this one because it's urethane. Going into this vid, I didn't really know how crazy and how strong this ball would be. I kind of know that my pitch black is super controlled, smooth, and early. I know the Purple Hammer is one of my favorite bowling balls. It's a bit later than the pitch black, has a bit more back end, and also super controlled. Now today, throwing this ball on the 36 foot pattern, it played really, really sensitive. Um, not to the point where it was uncontrollable, but this ball just started to hook a bit more than I expected. Five boards more than the Purple Hammer, which is already two boards on the pitch black, so do the math, this ball is seven boards stronger than the pitch black. But it's not like the Black Widow urethane, which I thought rolled too early, nor the pitch purple, which didn't really seem like urethane at all. This ball is a urethane, and you can see it on the lane. It's not too crazy, it's still controlled, it's just very strong. And that's mostly due to that strong modified Meditate core. Like I said, this ball is a lot stronger than the Purple Hammer and the Pitch Black. So I think that if you have one of these two bowling balls, that this is different enough where you could have a different look of urethane in your bag. And for me being a two-hander, or if you have a high rev rate, it's definitely a good option to have multiple urethane looks in your bag. I'm excited to see what this ball does on more medium length patterns and even try it on a house shot. I think this is smooth enough and doesn't roll too early to the point where it's unusable. I think it can retain its energy enough and still be very smooth on a medium pattern or a house shot. So moving forward with the more tournaments I go to, I will definitely try to see if this has a spot in the arsenal. I kind of have to just throw it more, see how I feel about it. I'm definitely intrigued to throw it more and I'll definitely try it on our league shot at Pegasus and also on some different patterns. As Bark said in the intro, urethane has become such a important part of the modern bowling game that it's important to have multiple and at least one in your bag. And it's not just for short patterns anymore. For someone like myself, I throw it on short, medium, and even sometimes long if I'm really desperate. And urethane's also dual purpose. A lot of the JR Pro Shop guys double up urethane as their spare ball, and it's really good to fill two slots in the bag with just one ball. And that's especially important if you're traveling because you may be limited to how many balls you can bring. Thank you so much for watching this urethane vid with Jimu. Wow, I feel like I've said that before, but please like, comment, subscribe, and please answer my question below. What goes through your mind before you throw that bowling ball? I'm really interested to see what you tell yourself. So leave your comments down in the comment section below. Special thanks to all of our members. Please consider becoming a member of JR Pro Shop. We love helping you become the best bowler you can be. And you also get special perks like free merch, early access to videos, coaching, and so much more. Stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Good shot. Yeah. Good shot.
shot. And yeah. Good shot. 